Hey guys, in this video we're going to be discussing how to get your back office computer connected and communicating with your point of sale system. Uh, there's a, a few prerequisites required for you to be able to do this. Uh, obviously you have to have your register configured and set up and the wires run. Uh, so make sure you do that first. If you need help on how to do that, you can obviously click on our help center once you're logged in. Search our knowledge base and in our knowledge base just go to this get connected uh, articles and you'll see all the articles for connecting to your different point of sale systems that we're compatible with. When you go in there make sure you stitch your PC ready uh, with the PC settings uh, but whenever you do need to do a connection you can just go through here there's a little nice little video that you can follow uh, as well as step by step instructions on how to get that done. So be sure to do that before you move forward uh, and then if you want you can pause this video and then just come back to it after you've done this. So to get started, uh, when you log into your account uh, and you have everything done already, you can just click on connect uh, with your point of sale system and download this connector, which will basically establish communication and send information from your register to your cloud account and also take data from your cloud account and send it back to your register. So you click over here to download that utility for the sake of time. I've actually already you know, downloaded it, uh, but you click on it. You want to run the installation. So you go ahead and say yes to run it. Um, and basically follow through the steps, right? So you have the steps over here. Uh, it's going to do some pending installations as well. So if there's any other components that are missing in your store, uh, it'll do those installations as well. So once those, pen those installations are done, it'll basically pop you into this, uh, you know, setup wizard or installation wizard. You just go ahead and click next. You accept the terms and conditions. Be sure to read through them if you have the time. Um, and then you just go follow through the steps and do the installation. Once the installation is done, uh, it'll prompt you to ask if you want to launch the utility or not, or the application. So you can just go ahead and say yes to launch the application. And it'll go ahead and launch your connection. So once it launches, it'll ask for the username and password. Uh, this is the same username and password that you use uh, to sign into the account. Be sure to use the owner level access. So if you're on the free trial, you already automatically have the owner level access. So. Type in the password here, connect, and it's gonna basically walk you through a series of steps. Uh, step one being obviously selecting your point of reg sale register that you wanna connect to and communicate with. It takes a little while because it's authenticating and ver validating this information on the server. So once you have that done, you simply select your point of sale system. Uh, we have all the point of sale systems here. Um, and then you basically just fo flow through the steps, right? And if you have any questions, you can always contact us, but it's pretty straightforward from here. And I'll just skip through this right quick and show you what the screen looks like once you're So once you're done connecting, it's going to ask you if you want to upload your current register settings to C-Store Pro. What this will do is actually import over all your tax strategies, all your departments, all your gas grade IDs, etc. And so that way everything is already in C-Store Pro. So once you're done here, you know that it's communicating, it's starting to do, you can just go ahead and upload it. And then once it's uploaded, you just go ahead and hit finish. And once you hit finish, when you're connected to your point of sale system, you'll notice that this checkbox is set to yes. And also this connection or the utility is set to yes as well. Uh, if it's set to no, uh, or you wanna reset it, you can obviously click over here to reset the utility as well. So that's pretty much all you have to do uh, to get your communication up and running and your initial uh, you know, communication going. Now, once this is done, uh, you obviously want to do a few basic settings on the application as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this right now. Uh, and to do those few basic settings, just go to price book dashboard. I'm sorry, price book and settings. So over here, you have the settings for default items for new, you know, default department for new items, default tax for new items. Uh, if you want inventory enabled, uh, which if you're trying to item level inventory tracking, you want to set that to yes. And if you want to track your manual scan rates as well, you want to set that to yes. And then which bank account you're doing all your drops into. Um, all your departments came in automatically. For the most part, everything should be straightforward and simple. Uh, there's only a few things here. So when you do actually do this, you want to click on this little icon over here to configure everything. You want to set it up to make sure that the taxes are proper. Uh, and if it's an inside sale, other services such as lottery, lotto, money order, etc. that are basically commission based, or if it's a fuel department. Now, if this item has scannable items in it, uh, meaning you want to scan items in this department, you can go ahead and set it to yes. 
for example, your money orders or lottery, lotto, uh, you know, or lotto mainly, things that you're not actually scanning in your store, Delhi products, you may just want to say no so it doesn't prompt you for that department when you're select adding a new item. And then the day report mappings. Uh, this is mainly for day report purposes. You can set it up to either taxable, non-taxable, money order, et cetera, whichever components you have in your store. And then the central price book is if you have a central price book account set up for this account. So you just do that, make sure you do that and get this set up. And you just go ahead and hit update after you're done doing that. Your taxes obviously came in automatically. Uh, there's a few things you probably have to do. Just click on edit to validate and make sure that they're mapped to the right global fields. Uh, so obviously non-tax need to go to non-tax and taxable needs to go to taxable. Uh, this is gonna be important for you when you start adding items because you wanna make sure that it's being added to the right uh, global categories. Gas, everything should have come in automatically. Uh, you may just need to validate that indeed the user, the names and all the uh, you know mappings are done correctly, meaning it's going to regular, reg plus is going to plus, super is going to super, diesel is going to diesel. So you can obviously click over here and you can just you know change your gas grade IDs here. Tender types will come in automatically as well. Uh, if they don't, you can obviously click here, add the new tender types, enter the tender ID and which component they're mapping to in your store. If it's cash, check, credit card, food stamp, etc. Just go ahead and add those tender types in. Local accounts and all that stuff we'll get into a little bit later on when it comes to the details and the uh, paperwork setup. Age restrictions, everything comes in automatically, so you're fine there. Uh, so that's it right now. Uh, and then, you know, once you've done this basic settings, then we can move forward and get your initial price book uploaded. Now, to upload your initial price book, you just simply go back to the settings page uh, and click on, uh, you know, set up your... Uh, price book. Now you have three options. You can use the C-Store Pro's common price book if you're not currently scanning right now. If you have a friend that's using C-Store Pro, you can actually upload the price book from that friend's account by entering in the username and password and just logging in. Um, you can also upload your existing price book from your register. So if you have a Sapphire, Passport, uh, you know, Nucleus or, you know, Ruby only, you can upload that existing price book from C Store, uh, from, from your register into here. You just simply have to uh, contact us and we can help you out or go refer to our help articles on how to get that price book data out of your register. Um, you can also upload Excel files. So let me show you an example of an Excel file that we have on, you know, that you can do. You can take a scan code and it has to be in this structure where you have the scan code named like this, modifier, description, price, cost, units per case, department ID, the tax ID. If it's food stampable, one is uh, yes and zero is no. What the current inventory is, and if you don't know it, you can obviously leave it blank or just enter in one. And if you have a selection group associated with that. So one example I'll do here is I'll go ahead and upload this existing price book. But what I'll do first is I'll go ahead and make sure my tax IDs are proper. So I'll do to match up with my actual, right? Uh, and I'll make sure my departments are proper as well. So I'll just do 200, 200, and I'll leave one of them to two just in case. And I'll go ahead and save this file. Uh, you actually have to save it as a CSV. So I have to get a file, save as, and I'm gonna save this article as a CSV. Um, do test two, save. And just save it right so once this is saved now you can kind of upload this article so I'll just click on the third option here and I can simply just drag and drop the article or if I want to just select the file I can select it go onto my desktop look for my CSV file my test uh, 2 it's my CSV file so you notice when I uploaded this file it told me that there was one item in this file that didn't have a proper department ID so I can click over here on the checkbox at the bottom to go ahead and add the missing departments or taxes and then simply just go ahead and add the items into my database. So now that I've done this, it's you know going to say, hey, everything's been added and everything's good to go. Now keep in mind that if you have more than 2,000 items, this process does take a little time, up, sometimes up to 30 minutes to get the price book uploaded. But if I hit finish and if I go into price book items, I'll see that those three items are now in my database for those stores. Okay, so it's simple as that. Uh, there's no, you know, rocket science required for this. If you have any questions or still need help, uh, please, again, don't hesitate to contact C-Store Pro at 281-265-2299 
or you can obviously visit our help center to get more uh, articles and help if you need it. Look forward to you guys watching the next video uh, which we'll, we'll, where we'll discuss how to add new items, update new items, do price changes, set up price groups and run promotions.